Hey everyone, uh, this is Daniel again. I'm back yet with another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we are going to see how you can uh, install PrestaShop. Uh, this is for the purpose of having an online store. Basically, uh, PrestaShop is one of the of the many options available uh, in the market. Basically, you can talk of uh, Shopify. It does the same thing as Wix. We have Orit. We have uh, uh, WordPress. We have uh, a plugin in WordPress called WooCommerce uh, that will give you the same results. So, so what you are looking for is an online store whereby you can post your items for your clients to be able to, to purchase from your, from your store. So in today's tutorial, as I mentioned, uh, we are going to see how to uh, to install it on your domain name or subdomain. Uh, in in, the, in our previous video, we covered how to to use the software script uh, to set it up. So let us dive in and see how how to to handle that. So uh, f the first thing is to log into your cPanel. Uh, I want to install it on uh, this subdomain called uh, test.dtechnologies.com. So uh, then uh, navigate to this website, prestashop.com uh, slash prestashop uh, hyphen edition hyphen uh, basic. Uh, this is the page where we are going to, to download our installation file. So once you visit this page, uh, uh, just key in your email address uh, in this field, then select... Uh, uh, select uh, just select any option here any will do once you do that then click on continue so uh, this will download the prestashop installation file then what you need to do next after the download is complete navigate back to your cpanel uh, then uh, navigate to file manager you have the file manager here Then let us go to the, the root folder of this uh, of this domain name. That is a test test test. We have it here. What we are going to do? We are going to upload uh, the installation files, the installation file to uh, to this uh, root folder. So I've already uh, uploaded my my installation file. Here it is, as you can see. So in your case, uh, just proceed and upload. Just use this option. With this option, select the file, then uh, upload. So once the, uh, the upload is complete, uh, just uh, navigate back, click on this, uh, uh, click on this file, then uh, select the option extract. Give it time to to complete. Once it's done, you you realize that uh, we are we now have some three new files. So just navigate to your to your subdomain and reload that will trigger the installation process so just give it some time and in less than a minute uh, we have uh, our installation proceed to the next stage uh, so here we are at the moment so at this stage just select your preferred language um, in this field so in my case i'm going to go with english then click on next then uh, in this stage just accept the terms and conditions you can read through once you 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 click on that checkbox click on next so in this other section let us give our shop a shop a name i'm just going to give it test the main activity then under this field select what you are uh, what you'll be uh, posting on your on your shop so in my case let me just go with uh, computer computer hardware and software then install demo data let us go with that as well select the country let me go with Kenya I'm key I'm in Kenya then uh, enable SSL let's go with that as well then for my name let me go let me just autofill that for the email let me input my email let me go with admin 
www.dgtechnologies.com let me go with that then for the shop password ensure to set up a strong password that only you can remember once you are done click on next then at this stage uh, here you are going to fill in your uh, your database credentials so you basically need to to create a database uh, so that you can have the database name the, uh, the database username and the password so with me here i've already done that i already have the, the three of them so in case you don't know how to uh, how to create a database we are going to uh, to link uh, the, uh, the 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 video to the YouTube uh, tutorial for that, so please check it out. So I'm going to to input the the, the details, the the database name. We have we have that. This is the database user. We have that. Then for the for the password for the password. Sorry have that so just leave these two fields you can uh, proceed and test uh, the connection to your database if these credentials are correct uh, something went wrong let me check again let me check again I bet these are uh, these apostrophe should not be there. Let me check. And there we go. So uh, once you do that, just click on next. And the installation will uh, uh, will continue. Just give it some time. And within within less than a minute the installation is now complete uh, it's now time to to log into the admin but then uh, we have a disclaimer here for security purposes you must delete the install folder so let us navigate to the root folder uh, we can reload so that uh, all the other files can appear so we have this uh, install folder just delete that that is to avoid uh, somebody else coming and overwriting your your installation so once you do that uh, then uh, we can proceed and uh, log in so let me just copy this email address then come back to my domain if you if you reload your domain so on reloading there we go we have uh, our website installed we have already an online shop with the uh, uh, products listed here although the images are not uh, are not appearing we will troubleshoot that so uh, to continue and customize your uh, your website you need to log in to the admin dashboard so the way to do that just uh, navigate back to the root folder uh, reload that uh, our focus in the, is on this uh, admin folder let us check because usually uh, uh, to, to access your admin dashboard you should have your domain name then admin but then uh, this may change with time as you can see it doesn't recognize that so let's come back here let us reload
Let us try something different. Nice, nice. So, um, then just come back here and load this page and you realize that some characters have been uh, added to uh, to the name admin so this will be your uh, will be the login url so once you input your your domain name let us see once you input your domain name or subdomain then slash uh, the admin and those characters then uh, just add for that so uh, here we are this is the admin login form let us input our credentials and login. And there we go. We have successfully logged into the admin dashboard of our Presta shop. So you can continue and, uh, and improve the design continue and set up your um, uh, your orders your catalog your customers and all that but for the scope of this video we just wanted to to have a uh, presta shop installed we are going to have another video where we are going to take you through uh, how to customize your presta shop thank you for tuning in uh, thank you for your patience as well uh, to help us uh, to help us continue growing uh, please share this video with your colleagues uh, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and goodbye